G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the third episode in our AC Milan Super League career mode series. We have just gotten out of the transfer window, made some big signings, and now we get into the meat of the series. The Super League season, four games in, we currently sit, as you can see, in eighth position. Two wins, two losses, I'm happy with that. But we have potentially the hardest episode that we're gonna face in the entire series coming up right now. Atletico Madrid, Manchester United, and Juventus. Today's episode is going to show exactly what we are made of. So lads, if you are keen for today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and also make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Also, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody that has been showing love for the series and has been recognizing my intentions with this series and that is just to have fun before FIFA 19. This is all for shits and giggles. I'm taking the piss, I'm having fun and I'm glad you guys can see that through the content. But let's stop messing around. Let's stop the chitter chatter. Let's get right into today's episode away against Atletico Madrid. All right, here we go. Traveling to Spain for match day five in the Super League season. The Wanda Metropolitano haven't played much here in FIFA 18. A few rebuilds, finals here and there, but I haven't faced Atletico Madrid here in a domestic competition, in a general competition. So Atletico Madrid, one of the front runners for the season so far, sitting in fourth position. But if we win here, we could potentially leap from them. All right, so here is the Atletico Madrid starting lineup. Yarnold Black, one of the best goalkeepers in the world and definitely in FIFA starting in between the sticks. It's a strong back line, but the attack in the midfield is where we really have to worry. You've got Koke. There's no Antoine Griezmann. Is Griezmann on the bench? Yes, he is. Okay. Lamar on the bench as well. I'll take that. I was getting worried to make this big thing leading up to... Antoine Griezmann, but it never happened. I mean, Diego Costa and Gamera are still tough, but Griezmann is world-class. But our starting 11, the exact same from the win against Sevilla. So we've beaten one Spanish side. Can we beat another one here? So Benzema up front, he needs to score. The only goal he scored so far has been a penalty. And I mean, I'm open to the idea of getting, getting giving players like Silva and Catrone a bit of game time if needs be. Here we go, we're on the attack and Zonzi. Going to Benzema. Can we get the opening goal in this one, or at least the first highlight? Good strength there shown from Benzema. Suso, nice skills to get past Felipe Luiz. Don't, can't really say I did too much to help us there, but good cross. Hakan, oh, the header at the back post. Just goes wide. What a great opportunity that was. Look at this beautiful ball in there. I didn't expect him to even get that heading opportunity. Ah, oh, they win the head on there. Vitolo goes to Diego Costa. Who goes here to Gamero. Good use of the body, though, from Bonucci. Uses his side to, uh, size to get in front of Costa. And now we're trying to hit him on the counter-attack. Benzema running straight through here. And just beelining for the corner. Trying to get a shot off. He still so got open and I didn't pass it in time. Oh, what the hell is this? What the hell kind of passing is that from Atletico Madrid, though? Bonaventura going there to Benzema. Going to Rakitic. Come on, we're trying to be too patient here. Benzema, touch, good touch, and it's a goal! Benzema doing everything right there. And honestly, Atletico Madrid have been terrible so far to start this game off, but we've made the most of it. Karim Benzema scoring his first goal from open play for the season. Lovely build-up play there, just passing it around nice and calmly. It was a great touch there to get in front of the defender, Savage, and then a great finish from the Frenchman. It took a bit of a deflection as well, I think, but it still goes down as Benzema's goal, and it's 1-0. We're going to shift across to the right-hand side here. They're trying to get an equalizer. I don't want to overcommit. Terrible pass, though, from Partey. We were in big trouble there, but he stuffs up the pass, and now we're trying to hit him on the counter-attack. Not the most convincing counter-attack, if I'm being honest, but it's kind of worked itself out. Hakan... Running through, looking to square it, but goes for the shot, the deflection, oh, the save, it was parried out, and I thought we might have just been able to get the tap in. Oh, almost got to it in Zonzi. 
Still on here though, it's a nice ball. Oh, we dive in too much with Correa. Don't tell me, that's a terrible shot. Honestly, they need to be doing better. Nice little one-two there, a little bit of a scuffed one-two, but it sees us launch a counter-attack. Suso having a fantastic game. Gonna do some skills, went for the little rainbow flick there. Crosses it, falls down, Benzema! Oh, it was audacious. I wanted him to hit it first time, not when it was behind him. They're on the attack here, Atletico Madrid, looking to get a very undeserved equaliser. Our back line's a little bit skewed here, need to start using the midfielders to defend like that. They go to Thomas Party. He lays it off to Koke and forces a very good save there from Donnarumma. And we can't get there in time to clear it away, but that's the biggest scare we've had so far. We're going to make a substitution, though. Romanoli picked up a slight little knock. Don't want to risk anything super bad, but uh, we bring on Musashio instead. Corner still here, though, for Atletico Madrid. Crisis not averted yet. Come on, get to that one, Benzema. He sort of does, but we're going to launch a counterattack now. Hakan. Trying to feed Suso. Good touch needed. Half decent touch. Ah, good defense from Felipe Luis. Come on, pressure on them, pressure on them. Yes, good stuff, Suso. Get to it, Benzema. Going back to Suso. Step overs. Left foot finesse. Off the post. Get out of it. It's still on. Suso squares it. And Zonzi. Oh, he misses. Oh, we could and we should be 2 nil up here. And Zonzi, a defensive midfielder, but that would have been fantastic. Here we go, counter-attack. Hakan, running through here. He's going to go to Benzema. He's going to lay it on to Bonaventura. We're going to go for the long shot. Probably should have taken one extra touch, but still an opportunity is an opportunity. Come on, two minutes. This is probably going to be the last opportunity here for Atletico Madrid. Don't let them get a point out of this game. We deserve the points. Oh, how has that one gone through Calabria? If they score off this, I'm going to be unbelievably salty. They put it back, stick. Get to it, Donnarumma. I'm just going to hold down X to clear it. Rodriguez clears it. And that is three massive points there against Atletico Madrid. They were just not up for it until about that last 15 minutes. But we dominated them for the large part. Quite disappointed we only managed to score one. But Benzema... His first of the season sees us collect all three points. Following our win against Atletico Madrid, we have awarded the Paolo Maldini medal points to three points to Nzonzi, two points to Suso, and one point to Benzema, his first point of the season. So we got past the test of Atletico Madrid, but will we get past Manchester United? Dependent on who you ask, this will either be an easier job or a difficult job, much more difficult job than Atletico Madrid. Again, depends on who you ask, but it's going to be a challenge nonetheless. And I mean, if the season finished now, I would be stoked. You can't see it there, but we're sitting in fifth position, fourth position. My goal is, of course, to win the, the Super League title this season, but we just want to finish as high as possible because do I think we'll win the Super League? I don't. The goal has always been win it in season two, but... We'll hope for the best. Anyways, here is our squad for the game against Manchester United. Only the one changed. Romanoli still recovering slightly from the injury he suffered against Atletico Madrid, but he'll be back for the next game against Juve. So Musashio comes in. Besides that, it is the same side. We're really starting to learn how to play with most of the players in this squad. And then let's take a look at Jose Mourinho's Manchester United side. So David De Gea in between the sticks. Lindelof getting the nod ahead of someone like Smalling or Jones, Damian in there as well, Herrera, Matic and Pogba decided not to go with Fred surprisingly, Lingard, Lukaku and Martial also in there, Sanchez on the bench, they signed a Noah, they've got a decent side Manchester United, that's not up for debate. They're on the attack here, Manchester United, Martial with the ball roll, goes to the back post! Oh no, that's not the start we're after, if he dabs on me I'll be, I'll be very mad but Oh, well, I don't know what that celebration is. Playing the flute, but Jesse Lingard gives Manchester United the lead six minutes into it. That was all Anthony Martial. Lovely step over. Fooled me. Great cross. Ricardo Rodriguez, though, you need to be getting in front of Lingard in those positions. You know the run's coming when you see the ball. Left flat-footed. And Man United score in the opening few minutes. We have a free kick here. 28 yards out, and you know what that means. Time for Hakan to step up. 
Kenny scores. Hakan off the crossbar. Oh, he's had two free kicks and both of them have almost gone in. What a moment that would have been. How have we not won the ball back there? Man United on the attack again. Bonucci trying to get in front of him. Clear it. No, we can't clear it. We have an air swing. Thankfully, Herrera does not have his shooting boots on. Tough angle for him, but I tried to clear that one with Nzonzi. Suso, nice stuff there to Calabria. Running down. Heavy touch, but he gets the ball in there to Rakitic. Going back. And Zonzi, what sort of shot do you have? Not a good one. I'm probably not going to be shooting much with Nzonzi from here on. Lingard running down the line. Come on. Get rid of it. Matic. Oh, I, I saw the Crystal Palace goal coming to life again. Man United on the attack here. Easy tackle there for Bonaventura. After a heavy touch from Herrera. And now Suso, he's got the pace. Can he get some support though? He's going to have to cut it back. Suso looking for a support option. Goes to Rakitic. Great tackle from Lingard. I said I wasn't going to go for a shot. Oh, I said I wasn't going to go for a shot anymore than Zonzi, but he almost made us eat our own words. We're going to get the corner here. Suso looking for Rakitic to come short. Draws in Pogba, I believe it is. We're going to put this one in here. We need some head, headed action. I don't need some head personally. We just need some headed action. God, I hope we don't score after I just said that though. Bonucci going through to Rakitic. Back post! Oh, we scored! Benzema! What a goal! Gotta go and celebrate with Rakitic. I can't believe I said that dumb crap in the lead up to the goal. And of course, we score off that. Bonucci, lovely play. Lovely vision at the back post. And a clutch finish there from Benzema. And I've got to say, this is an undeserved one all scoreline. They're on the attack here. Damian, beautiful cross into Lukaku, but thankfully he had no idea what was going on. Oh, and even as Hakan, what the hell is that? Martial coming off here for Manchester United, for Marcus Rashford, but we're also going to make a sub of our own. It might not be going through now, though, but it's going to be Hakan Chalanoglu coming off. And here it is, Hakan Chalanoglu coming off and Fabio Barini of all players coming on. I just can't risk Hakan's yellow card. Good stuff there from Nzonzi. Another quality performance from him, but the fucking referee getting in Bonaventura's way. They score here. I swear. I swear. Don't do it. Not by you. Get to the follow-up. Oh, Rashford didn't shoot. Oh, he was offside. Oh. Here we go. We're passing it around nicely. Benzema. Good pass there from the striker who goes to Fabio Barini. Barini lays it. Benzema. Oh, what a tackle, Damian. I saw the headlines rolling. I saw the 2-1 scoreline. Don't tell me they're going to go up the other end now and score a winner in the 90th minute. They cross it in there. Clear it! What are you doing? Just clear it. It's still on though for United. Yes, poor pass. Is there time for us? Oh, we had an overlap! We had an overlap, but the full-time whistle is blown by the referee. And you know what? I'll take it. It's a one all draw against Manchester United. Our first draw of the season. A very exciting game. I won't be forgetting that one anytime soon. An instant classic against Manchester United. And here are the points for the Paolo Maldini medal. Benzema continues his hot streak. Three points for the Frenchman. Our captain Bonucci does pick up two points. And Calabria picks up one point. We passed with flying colours against Atletico Madrid. We scraped past Manchester United and got a point, but now we are traveling to Turin, taking on our fellow Italian opponents. It is going to be Juventus. They have Cristiano Ronaldo. This game is one you don't want to miss. Juventus, though, getting off to a pretty poor start to the season. Only one win for them. They sit in the relegation zone. Imagine Cristiano Ronaldo playing technically in the championship. All right, so here is a look at the Juventus starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny in between the sticks. They've signed Kieran Trippier from Tottenham. They've got Giorgio Chiellini. Their midfield is Dybala, Pjanic, and Matuidi. Raheem Sterling, Higuain, and Ronaldo. You are kidding me. What a side they have put together so far, Juventus. And then here is our starting 11. 
only the one change. Mustachio back to the reserves. Roman only back to the starting 11. I'm not going to lie though, I was strongly considering benching Ricardo Rodriguez. He was really poor against United, but he's lucky we don't have any real alternatives. From the attack here. Higuain, we've gone in too early with Vanucci against his former side. Rodriguez sliding in. Sterling somehow still getting a shot off though. Good reaction time there from uh, Donnarumma and good alertness. It was probably going wide, but still the safe option. Zonzi going here to Benzema. I see the run there of Bonaventura. We've drawn in and now we've got Hakan Chalanoglu on a pretty good angle here. Tries to slide it home into the corner against Chesney, but is unable to do so. Oh, wow. We've put it on a platter for Dybala, and he has done that. That is a big sigh of relief. Beautifully set up there, but he's just gotten too under it. Oh, for fuck's sake, Nzonzi. Right idea, just terrible in execution. Higuain, though, going through. He scored it. Higuain scored that one. I did not expect him... Okay. We are 1-0 down here against Juventus. It's after a poor turnover from a uh, rather, rather reliable source in Nzonzi, but... Look at that, the finesse into the top corner. Well, I was not expecting that. Oh, good stuff, Bonaventura. A lot of space to run now. Looking for an option. Feeds it to Suso, who's onside, and he gets us an equaliser. Gonna go and celebrate in front of the away AC Milan fans. But lovely stuff there. Big credit to Bonaventura. And that is the perfect hit back. Six minutes after conceding a Gonzalo Higuain goal. It is going to be Suso opening up his Super League account. Getting us the lead here. Clutch finish, but bravo to Bonaventura for the lead up. Suso, beautiful stuff, mate. Winning the ball back again for us. And we're trying to get into another goal scoring position here. Bonaventura, lovely movement off the post, the follow-up, Suso gets a brace, we are back in front, oh, you are kidding me, wow, 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 we have just gone ahead and scored two goals back to back, two unanswered goals against Juventus, and we have the lead here, Bonaventura, take a bow, I kind of wanted him to score, but Suso picks up a brace, and we've gone from a very tough position to a glorious position. Here we go, Benzema, going to Rakitic, trying to score ourselves a third goal. Juve definitely rattled at the end of the first half. Ricardo Rodriguez, beautiful ball to Rakitic, the touch, but it's a world-class block from Chiellini. I saw 3-1 popping up right there. Ronaldo skin us and goes through to Higuain. Can't let him get a shot off again. Goes back. The back heel to Cristiano Ronaldo. The deflection, but we're way too comfortable about that. All right, a corner here for Juventus. It's going to be Dybala. Sending this one in here. It falls to Chiellini. Good touch from Bonucci. Now we're trying to launch counter-attack. Benzema, look at all the numbers. Benzema, beautiful stuff. Please be onside, Hakan. Come on, a third goal. On the cards, through the legs. Suso gets the hat trick. Yes, boys. He's injured somehow as well. But it is 3 1 with half an hour to go here. I'm losing my voice, but I thought we stuffed it up. I thought they were going to recover that one. Beautiful counter attack there. And we are 3 1 up. Hakan with the assist, but Suso with the first hat trick of the series. All right, we're just trying to get some nice little build-up play going on here. We see the run. I didn't mean to go to Rakitic. 4-1. Get out of it. Oh, Ivan Rakitic. One of the nicest finishes you will ever see. Juve shell-shocked. And we look like we have performed our... We've got our best performance of the season. And that looks like it's a guaranteed three points. I was trying to go through to Bonaventura, but... The AI helps us there. It goes to Rakitic, but that finish on the angle, the left foot underneath Wojciech Szczesny is a thing of beauty. And 
That is going to mark the end of the day here for Rakitic. He has been subbed off along with the hat-trick hero, Suso, who has picked up a little knock. We're bringing on Kessie. We're bringing on Fabio Barini. Oh, no, Ronaldo. Don't take him down. Oh, Ronaldo scores. That was just... That was just laziness. I was not concentrating 100% there. I was actually, well, ironically enough, I was thinking about how ineffective Ronaldo has been. I don't know why he's carrying on like such a goose. Cristiano, mate, it's not all about you. It's about the team. You're losing by two still, and you're running and hugging the manager. The manager's thinking, who is this absolute dickhead? We're, get the ball and get the game going. Benucci skinned there, but I'm putting that down to my concentration levels. It is 4-2 with just over 10 minutes to go. A fifth goal would be fantastic. Imagine that. We've struggled to find the back of the net at times so far in this short season, but we're doing all right now. Kessie going to Barini. Fabio Barini trying to square it to Benzema. Oh, come on. A fifth goal. I would love that. We're going to float this one in here. Benzema. It's Kessie off the crossbar. Bonaventura. 5-2. A well-deserved goal there for him. And you know what? I love you, Cristiano Ronaldo. You're one of my favorite players, but I'm going to give you a bit of crap now. Oh, I didn't let me do it. I wanted to go celebrate with the manager, but look at that. Kessie off the bench. Absolute rocket. Bonaventura falls, falls perfectly to him. He deserves a goal. 5-2. Juve who? There it is, fellas. That is full time in what I am calling our performance of the season. Everything went right for us today. Fantastic performance from Suso. Fantastic performance from Bonaventura. We said the Man United game was a game we're not going to be forgetting anytime soon. I think the Juventus game definitely takes that title. Match of the season so far against Juventus. Here are the Paolo Maldini medal points. Despite Suso picking up a hat-trick, we have given three points to Bonaventura, an outstanding performance. Two points to the hat-trick hero Suso, and another point to Karim Benzema. So at the end of episode three, here are the standings for the Paolo Maldini medal. Bonaventura overtakes Rakitic and moves into first position. Our three new signings have a three-way tie for second, Rakitic and Zonzi and Benzema. Suso alone on four points and Calabria rounds out the top six on three points. Well fellas that is where we are going to conclude what has been an action packed episode of the AC Milan Super League career mode series and as you can see at the end of this third episode after seven games in the Super League we find ourselves in a very surprising third position fantastic performances in today's episode. If you guys did go on to enjoy today's episode, however, make sure you leave a like on the video. And as I said earlier, make sure you bloody Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Most importantly though, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.